Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to verify the Cayley Hamilton theorem for the given matrix A as a first part. So, first we have to write the characteristic equation, which is nothing but determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0. So, this will become determinant of 1 minus lambda 4, 2 and 3 minus lambda equal to 0. I am going to expand this determinant. So, 1 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda then minus 4 to are 8 equal to 0. We have to expand this expression. 1 we have to multiply both the terms. So, we get 3 minus lambda. Then minus lambda if you multiply minus 3 lambda plus lambda square minus 8 equal to 0. By rearranging we get lambda square minus 4 lambda minus pi equal to 0. Now, by Cayley Hamilton theorem, every square matrix should satisfy its own characteristic equation. Therefore, in place of lambda, we are going to substitute matrix A. So, it will become A square minus 4A minus 5, but we have to write 5i. Whenever there is a constant, we have to put identity matrix as a product with that equal to 0. Now, we have to prove this expression. So, for that we need a square. In the question, they have given a. The elements are 1, 4, 2, 3. So, let us find a square. So, a square is a into a. So, a is 1, 4, 2, 3. Again, we have to take one more a and we have to multiply. When we are multiplying, we take the first row and multiply with corresponding elements of the first column of the second matrix. So, first row of the first matrix is multiplied with the first row, first column of the second matrix corresponding elements. So, 1 into 1, then plus 4 to the 8. Then first row of the second column, 4 plus 12. So, 4 and 12. Then second row with first column, 2 plus 6. Then second row with second column, 8 plus 9. Now, we are going to simplify this. The elements are 9, 16, 8, 17. Now, we are going to substitute. So, let us take the expression a square minus 4a plus 5i. So, for a square, I have to take 9, 16, 8, 17, minus 4a, a is 1, 4, 2, 3, plus 5, sorry, this is minus 5a. So, minus 5 into i, i is identity, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, we have taken the expression, substituted a square, a and i. Now, we are going to simplify this, first matrix as it is, then let us multiply 4 inside. So, 4, 16, 8, 12. Then let us multiply 5 inside. So, it will become 5, 0, 0, 5. Now, let us combine this as a single matrix. First element is 9, minus 4, minus 5. Second element 16, minus 16, minus 0. Third element 8 minus 8 minus 0 and the last element 17 minus 12 minus 5. So, totally the, all the elements becomes 0. So, we got the other side of the equation. So, we have taken this expression, this is a minus sign and we proved it 0. So, this complete the first part that is Cayley Hamilton theorem verification. So, Cayley Hamilton theorem verified. Now, second part of the question, we have to find its inverse. So, we are going to use the characteristic equation and Cayley Hamilton theorem. So, we already got this expression. That is, we got the characteristic equation. Then, by Cayley Hamilton theorem, every square matrix has its own characteristic equation. So, we substitute it in place of lambda a. From this expression, we are going to find its inverse. So, let us copy this here. a square minus 4a minus 5a equal to 0. 
So a square minus 4a minus 5a equal to 0. With this, we are going to multiply a inverse on both the sides. So this will become a inverse into a square minus 4a minus 5i equal to a inverse into 0. When I multiply a inverse here, the first term becomes a. Then minus 4 into a inverse into a is identity. Then minus 5i into a inverse is 5a inverse because identity is like 1. And this is 0. So we keep minus 5a inverse here and carry this 4i to the other side. Then a to the other side as minus a. Then a inverse from here we can find by taking this minus 5 to the other side. So this will become minus 1 by 5 and we have 4i minus a. Now we are going to evaluate this that is a inverse equal to minus 1 by 5. 4i is 4 into identity 1 0 0 1 minus a is 1 4 2 3. We are going to simplify this matrix. So this is minus 1 by 5. This will become 4, 0, 0, 4. This is one matrix. Minus, we have 1, 4, 2, 3. We have to combine this as a single matrix. So, minus 1 by 5. This will become 4 minus 1. 0 minus 4. 0 minus 2. And 4 minus 3. So, totally, this is minus 1 by 5. 3 minus 4, minus 2, 1. And if you want, you can also take the outside minus sign. You can multiply with all the term. So, A inverse will be 1 by 5 and this will become minus 3 plus 4, 2 and minus 1. So, we got the A inverse. Now, in the third part of the question, we have to express a power 5 minus 4, a power 4 minus 7, a power 3 plus 11, a square minus a minus 10i as a linear polynomial in A. Now let's copy this expression here. We are going to divide this expression by this equation. That is, we already got a square minus 4a minus 5a equal to 0. So we are going to divide the given expression by a square minus 4a minus 5i. So we are going to do the long division here. Let's take the expression here and we put the long division and outside we have to write this term that is a square minus 4a minus 5i. Now, if I multiply a cube with a square, I get a power 5. Then a cube with minus 4a, we get minus 4a power 4. Then 5a cube with as a third term, that is a cube multiplied with minus 5a, we get minus 5a cube. Now, we have to subtract so we have to change the sign of all the second terms. After changing, we can cancel a power 5 minus a power 5. In the same way, minus 4a power 4 plus 4a power 4. See, so this will get cancelled. Then this will become minus 7a cube plus 5. So minus 2a cube. Then we have to copy plus 11a square, then minus a. Then with a square, if I multiply minus 2a, we can get minus 2a cube. Then with minus 4a, if I multiply plus 8a square, then the last term it is plus 10a. Then we have to subtract. While subtraction, we have to change the sign of all the 
second terms. Then we can cancel minus 2a cube plus 2a cube. In the second term, 11a square minus 8a square will give 3a square and this will be minus 11a and we have to carry the last term minus 10i. Now to match the first term, I have to multiply plus 3 with this. So I have to take 3i because we cannot take only constant along with the matrix. So 3i will give first term as 3a square. When there is a matrix come then we can ignore the i. When there is a number alone we have to put i. So this is 3a square minus 12a then minus 15i. So we are going to subtract this. We have to change the sign of all the second terms. Then while subtraction we can cancel 3a square minus 3a square. Then minus 11a plus 12a will give only a. Then this will be plus 5i because it is 15 plus 15 minus 10. So we got the quotient here. This entire term is the quotient. Then this entire term is the reminder and this term is the divisor. So after getting this, this given expression, this dividend, what we have written here can be written this dividend equal to. So the basic formula is dividend, this dividend equal to quotient into divisor plus reminder. And already quotient we know a cube minus 2a plus 3a. So we will substitute here and before that this dividend is nothing but the entire expression. So let's write that expression here and this is equal to quotient. Quotient is a cube minus 2a plus 3a. So we have to write quotient a cube minus 2a plus 3i. So we copied the quotient a cube minus 2a plus 3i then into divisor. Divisor is a square minus 4a minus 5i. So here a square minus 4a minus 5i. Then at last we have reminder that is nothing but a plus 5i. Now already in the previous part we proved that this value of a square minus 4a minus 5a equal to 0. So in this expression this value is 0. It means when I multiply this expression 0 it is going to be 0. So this value into 0 plus a plus 5i. So this is 0 plus a plus 5i. So totally this dividend is nothing but a plus phi i. So in the question we have given express this as a linear polynomial in a and we got the linear polynomial in a as a plus phi i.